hear from. Your past is a gift. Okay, so this is the last video that I'm making for today. And in this video, I just wanted to talk about Oh, uh, just over the weekend that I've been doing all this gardening and I'm planting all these seeds and I have finally had some quality time, you know, with my daughter. It's been a long time since I've actually stopped and really looked at her, you know, and really enjoyed her smile and her giggle and just when her eyes light up, you know, because she's being cheeky or she's being naughty or, you know, all these things. A kid just being a kid, you know, just being in their element, yeah, their most joyful. And I just felt so connected to her. And I just felt like making a video of, you know, if you're out there and you have a pet, bury your nose into their fur, cover them in kisses, you know, because we've got this new puppy at the moment and I can't seem to get enough of this puppy either. And I can't stop kissing him and hugging him and cuddling him and letting him know in every moment, you know, I love him so much. He's such, he's just been such a blessing to this house, you know, because we had an older dog and um, he's 12 now, but he would get lonely if we were out of the house, you know, and we're not here and he'd be by himself. And now he's got this new puppy and it's just like, we've got a new dog, you know, it's just completely different dog again. Because <laughs> when we brought him into the house, there were three of them. He was the third one. So he didn't know what it was to be on his own. And then my little one was born and the other two girls that we had were both 16 and a half and they kind of passed away within her first year, you know. And so he's had about five years by himself. We've been trying to get her a new puppy, but just haven't had any luck. And then just by coincidence or whatever you want to call it, it was just meant, meant to be that he was meant to be ours. Um, you know, one of our neighbours kindly offered us if we wanted him. Well, oh, I was absolutely thrilled. You know, if you have children, give them a cuddle, you know, give them a, I was thinking, you know, as well, this morning I was remembering, we've had a few, when we have our arguments, you know, with, with my daughter and we'll, we'll, we'll be head to head, you know, each one trying to get their way. I'm trying to explain to her that it's not good for her and she'll be like, no, I still want it and all the rest of it. And there's been a few arguments that we have where I just, for some reason, I just crack up, you know, I'll just be in the middle of it and then just stop myself and I'll just smile at her. And then she just smiles back like, that wasn't really that important, was it? <laughs> and it's just funny, you know, in that moment, her eyes will light up again like, oh, okay, you know, there we are again, in that moment of being connected. So hug your kids, really look at them in their eyes, get them to look back at you and make sure that when they look back, they're there completely and whole, you know? And let them know that they are whole, just as they are. They don't need someone else to complete them. That's, that's a myth. That's not the truth. We never needed anyone else to complete us. We are not broken and we are not a piece of anything. We've always been whole the way we are. So, you know, all those lovely things. If you have a partner, oh, give thanks that you have a partner. There's so many lonely people in the world that don't have one. Give them a hug and look at them. You know, and let them know that you love them, that they mean everything to you, that you're so lucky to have them. You know, today is a good day to start expressing all that beautiful love that we carry inside. Today's a beautiful day to do that. So, and to be present in that moment, you know, learning to be in that moment, to actually engage and look at each other. And have that moment of connection where you see each other just as you are. You accept that person just as they are without them needing to be anything else. It's the most wonderful feeling. I wish you all the same, that one day you can reach that moment where you just accept. This is my life and this is what I have. And I have so much so much to be grateful for all right my darlings i love you guys so give something a hug if you don't have pets you don't have a partner go hug a tree i'm sure you've got something there that you can hug <laughs> all right my darlings i love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and i'll see you in the next video now if you don't have a tree either because you live in an apartment there'll be an old neighbor there's all these elderly people that don't have anyone to talk to. Go talk to them. Give them a cuddle if they let you. 
there's always someone, something that you can connect to. Alright my darlings, I love you guys. Bye for now.